Okay, guys, so this is a hard lesson that I learned um, before you ever go out and start replacing your capacitors for your Menonta X700 or, you know, 500 series of the cameras. Before you do all those, um, I would actually first want to check one very important thing, okay, before you replace the capacitor. I replaced both of those capacitors in the 570 and X700 on the bottom. I didn't replace the capacitor on the top because for, for the camera, I thought when I bought this used, I thought uh, the capacitor was the thing to blame when I tried to, you know, get the camera turned on and try to snap a picture and try to, you know, advance the film. It, it doesn't go, it doesn't advance, it doesn't make any sound when I try to press shutter nothing is displayed in the viewfinder. So I thought, right, it's probably the most infamous capacitor problem, right? I went out, replaced the capacitors, and uh, as you can see, I have brand new Panasonic, very good quality capacitor installed on the X700 for the bottom part, which is the one that fails for the most, and uh, still nothing. And this is with a battery inserted, okay? so. That's why I'm telling you guys, before you replace a capacitor, there's another important thing you really want to try. And uh, that is the battery door, okay? This battery door is very prone to problems. If the previous owner uh, abused the camera and actually had the battery leaked to, to, the, to the cap. Now this one is actually the broken one. I tried the battery door on the X570, which indeed actually had a broken capacitor and with a good battery door. So I replaced the capacitor in X570 as well, so brand new Panasonic capacitor. I put the battery in and it works perfectly fine. However, I was doing this, I replaced the capacitor on the bottom and I used the original you know, battery door on the X700 and I, and I clicked the shutter, nothing happens. I was like, wait a minute, what if it's actually the battery door? And, to, and you know, behold, I'm gonna remove the original X700 battery door and I'm gonna put the X570 battery door in here with the battery. And I'm gonna show you guys, it's actually not the capacitor for this camera, it's actually the battery door that's corrupted, which is causing the battery to not transmit any power, okay? So let me replace the, the door really quick and show you guys. All right, so this is, again, the original X700 battery door, kind of worn. And uh, if you look down here, it doesn't look like, you know, much corrosion here, but actually the corrosion is underneath this metal sheet. It's very corroded inside. I have to find a way to clean it um, to restore it. Otherwise, I might just get a new battery door for the X700. But this is with X570's battery door in, in here, which I know is working, okay? Behold, the camera works perfectly fine. So for the X700 that I had, the problem is actually not the capacitor that I replaced. The problem is actually the battery door. This is like so much of a simpler problem than the capacitor, uh, which, you know, I actually overthought, overthink about the problem. I didn't check the battery door first. The problem for this one is actually the battery door. And for my old X570, it was actually the capacitor. So those two things are probably the most common uh, that stops working on the X, you know, X series of the cameras on the Menonta. So I would highly advise you not only check the capacitors, but the first first thing you would you would check if your camera doesn't fire, if the the film doesn't advance, and your button doesn't click, it is might be the battery door, okay? So check check this first before you check um, on the option of replacing capacitor, all right? Hope you found this video helpful. Um, I'm so glad I figured out both of my cameras actually had different problems, and both of those problems are actually kind of obvious and kind of very common on those Menonta X500 and 700 series of the cameras. So definitely check both. Hope you found the video helpful. Thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you in the next video.